Hey guys and welcome back to another what I wear in a week video. The angle of this video is a little bit changed today just because I've been filming in the background. I've got a bit of work to get through this morning and then this afternoon I'm going to a afternoon tea with Rocha because they are launching a new perfume which coincidentally is called Mademoiselle. Autumn is definitely well and truly here. It's a little bit cool, windy, it's been a bit drizzly today. Uh, probably not got the most practical outfit on but it looks like it's supposed to fine up this afternoon. Accessories wise I am wearing my Reliquia earrings. I've talked about these. I'm a little bit disappointed with how mine have tarnished. Others that I've seen look pretty good, so maybe it's just my pair. Then my necklace is my Missima uh, Mini Molten. Uh, then I am wearing this cardigan from Bowden. This is actually new and they kindly sent this to me. It's a nice merino wool and you might have heard me mention in one of my previous videos that I was after the Eveline cashmere version of this, which I will link in the description box in case you want to check it out. This one's just probably, I would say it's going to be a little bit thicker um, and more affordable as well. Uh, but yeah, I love the little ribbon detail that goes down the placard. I just think that's really nice. It's a little bit different. So I've worn that unbuttoned just like a blouse and I've got that tucked into my high-waisted Dr. Denim skinny jeans. You guys have seen these a million times paired with my Isabel Morant belt. The bag I'm wearing today is going to be my Chanel Chevron bag, which Rebecca Minkoff does a pretty good dupe for this. And then on my feet, I'm wearing a new purchase. And these are actually my first kind of five-piece French wardrobe purchase for autumn. I've still not finished buying everything that I wanted to get for summer. I've still got to get the St. Laurent shoes and maybe something else. But I decided to pick up my first autumn purchase, which are these Tony Bianco mules. Now, these look a lot like the shoes from the row. However, they're much more affordable. I feel like these are the kind of thing that are going to sell out really quickly, though. I found them online in a few different places. So I'm going to pop the link to them down in the description box at a few different retailers if you guys want to go and check them out. So, if I can actually go back far enough, there we are. That is a bit of a look at the full outfit today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is now Tuesday. Uh, it's about, what time is it? It's just after two o'clock. I've just had something to eat for lunch. I've been kind of filming all morning for a few videos just so that I can get a little bit organized. I am planning on doing uh, Everyday May, or as Luke and I were calling it on our trip to New Zealand, Everyday J, or every jam hustling, or May J, or there's more. Um, <laughs> uh, we get a little bit lame with the puns. Um, so I'm really excited because I'm gonna be doing a video every single day for the month of May, so that'll be 31 videos. And the reason why I wanted to do it is because I've got so many video ideas. It kind of occurred to me that I wasn't gonna be able to do everything I wanted to do this calendar year within my two video a week schedule. So I thought it would be a great way for me to get through the list of videos that I wanna film. If you have any particular requests, let me know in the comments below. I have kind of mapped out my schedule, but I'm happy to mix things up if there is something you guys particularly want to see. Now, let's talk through what I'm wearing. I'm <laughs> sorry, enough chit chat. I have got some new earrings on. These were sent to me by Thomas Sabo, and I actually love them. I've been looking for a really nice pair of chunky gold hoops for a long time. These come in silver too, actually. And I really like the look of these ones. I just think they're pretty bold, but they're also a classic at the same time. I actually have a 10% discount code for Thomas Sabo jewelry. So if you do want to buy anything, you can use that code to get 10% off. So I'll put that in the description box below. Uh, then necklace wise, I'm wearing my Vrayan Oro necklace. This actually hasn't left my neck since I received it. I've been wearing it pretty much every day because you can wear it in the shower. I've got my mini molten from Missima. I seem to have lost my interstellar necklace. Don't know where it is. So I've been wearing this one a lot. And then I'm also wearing my Majuri Zodiac necklace. The study is still turned around a little bit. So I've got the uh, mirror on the bookshelf side. But for my top, I am wearing my Eveline short sleeve silk blouse. I've kind of mentioned this before, but this is one of my favorites. It's the one with the notch collar detail. And I'm really hoping it's going to show up here. But it's got the nice flat collar, which I think looks really pretty. Then my jeans are my Levi's skinny crop jeans. I'm going to say it. I don't love these. I'm wearing them because I've got them. They are maybe just a touch too cropped for me. And I've got a 28 inch inseam. So that's nuts. Uh, and the pockets... That's as far down as I can get. So while I do really like my Levi's wedgie straight, I don't particularly love this style. So I might maybe try and find a alternative that I like better and I'll link those in the description box. Then on my feet, I'm wearing my MNZ sandals. These are the Sophie style. These are an old one, but again, I'll try and find them. And if I can't, I'll link something similar. So, dun, dun, dun. 
here we go that is a full oh, that is a full look at today's outfit i will check in with you guys tomorrow hey guys so today is wednesday uh it's actually quite a cold day i went out earlier and i was thinking i need to put on more layers so i just got changed although i'm not really sure this is even a better option. I might throw a coat on. I'm about to head out for lunch. It's my friend Nikita's birthday. She's actually staying with us at the moment because she's moved over from New Zealand. So I'm going in to surprise her with one of her other friends for lunch, which I think will be really good. Um, I've gone something really cozy and relaxed. I'm just going to be working the rest of the day. So earrings wise, I'm still wearing those earrings from Thomas Sabo. I'm actually obsessed with these and I got a uh, compliment on them just before. So please don't mind the cats, they're running around. <laughs> then the sweater that I'm wearing is this one from Joseph. I've finally been able to pull it back out again. I absolutely love this and I've tucked it into this black, it's a stretch cotton mini skirt from T by Alexander Wang. I actually used to have this in a charcoal gray and I really like it, it's very fitted and it has this sort of bubble style hemline so you can pull it down a little bit more or you can kind of straighten it up. I've got it so that it tapers upward slightly just because I think that's really flattering. On my feet, I'm wearing my Vanelli two-tone pumps. I love these and I probably need to replace these ones in favor of a new pair. Um, either that or get the Chanel ones. And then the bag that I'm using today is this one here from Charles and Keith. So I've been pretty spoiled recently with some um, brand gifting and Charles and Keith sent me some product to include in some of my videos uh, that I requested. So this one here is a really beautiful kind of terracotta brown. Uh, it's got a very nice red tone to it and I am loving this. The handle on it is really unique and it actually has a crossbody strap too. So let me show you how it looks over the shoulder. It's like that. So that is kind of a, um, a look at the full outfit today and say hi to Winnie. Winnie! Hey Winnie! <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys and happy Thursday. Today I've been spending the morning working. It's about midday now. I've just had something to eat for lunch. I've made myself a cup of tea so I'm going to sit down, have a little bit of a break before I get back into things and I also need to go to the post office. Uh, it's a little bit cool. The weather has definitely started to shift. I think I mentioned this earlier in the week but it's very cold at night and also first thing in the morning and then it kind of warms up a little bit during the day. So I've gone for something that's kind of a mix. This is a good transitional outfit. Actually one that's going to feature in a video that I think will be up before this one. So if it is, I will pop it up in the cards, either up here or up here, whichever side it is, um, so you guys can go and have a look. Uh, earrings wise, I'm still wearing those Thomas Sabo earrings. I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so nice. They just, I think they elevate so many of my outfits. I don't really have anything or really too many earrings that are like this. And they're new, so I want to wear them all the time. I don't know if you guys do that when something is new, just keep reaching for it every single day uh, and then let me show you my outfit so i've gone for my veta oversized sweater today which i'm so excited i can finally wear it like a roll neck it kind of actually i don't know if you guys are familiar with this piece but it has this separate funnel neck which you can attach on the inside with buttons and it's such nice quality if memory serves me i actually think it's 100 percent cotton so it just feels really nice weighty against your skin and i like the fact that you can wear it as a cardigan or as a sweater without this or roll neck you've got three tops in one basically uh then the skirt that i'm wearing that i've got it tucked into is my j crew white denim skirt still loving reaching for this and i think that's quite a cute little combo then on my feet i've gone for a flat shoe just because working from home and i just wanted something easy these are my sam edelman loafers a great dupe for the gucci jordan loafers and then the bag that i'm using today same one as yesterday my little oh hang on let me get them in my hand properly my little charles and keith shoulder bag which i'm really enjoying to add a bit of a pop of color to my otherwise sort of monochromatic outfit. So there you have it, that is the full look today. Morning guys, it is Friday today. Uh, I have just been to the supermarket. I've got to get back into some work now. Uh, it's actually quite warm today. I think it's supposed to be 27. It's really sunny, beautiful, beautiful day. I'm not wearing any jewelry at the moment. I do have my watch on from Linya. 
because the weather is nicer i have gone for a very kind of summery outfit so i'm wearing a white tank this is from white by ftl then i have on my philip Lim shorts and if i can find a more affordable pair of these if they're you know pre-loved or anything like that i would drop them in the description box on my feet i'm wearing these braided sandals from bowden i don't know if i shared these with you guys but these are so comfortable they have a square cut across the foot which i think is really nice i love that sort of vintage vibe but it also feels kind of modern at the same time and the first day i wore these i walked something like 25,000 steps and i didn't get a single blister so highly highly recommend the bag i'm wearing today is my charles and keith uh shoulder bag which i actually wanted to quickly mention because i've had so many questions about this bag over on my instagram so as i mentioned earlier in the week this was kindly sent to me uh, but i am loving it i've been using it most days since I received it. So it has two straps which are detachable. I'm going to show you how they look. Uh, and then it's got two partitions here. So you've got the pocket at the back which snaps shut and there's also a little slip pocket in here. And then oh, you also have this pocket at the front here which opens with a clasp. And that one again has a little slip pocket though. I don't actually really think you could fit anything in there. Maybe some notes or something like that. Now the bag is made out of faux leather. So if that is, if you prefer faux leather bags, then you will really like that. The quality of it is really nice though. It's quite sturdy. It feels like faux leather obviously, but um, I do think it's really well constructed. I will say, and hopefully you can see this, there is already some scratching here on the clasp. So do keep that in mind, that will happen. And I think my favorite detail about the bag is this wavy strap. I just think it's really, really cool. Um, I'll just show you how it looks with both of the straps attached. So here I'm just holding it on the shoulder strap. And I mean, given that it is wavy, it means that it is a little bit more unusual to carry than other bags with a normal strap that's not wavy. Um, and then on my shoulder, oh, that's how it looks on my shoulder with the shoulder strap, which I think kind of has a cool detail. However, if you prefer, you can use the thinner strap. Obviously this is gonna put a little bit more weight on your shoulder just because there is a less material for the weight to be distributed on so do keep that in mind however it does give you the option of wearing the bag across the body like so and if you wanted you could also remove this smaller handle so that you don't have anything in front of the bag when you're carrying it Overall, I really, really like it. As I said, I've been using it a lot and I love the color. This is sort of a really beautiful terracotta shade and I find it goes really well with a lot of neutrals, but also just with simple black and white outfits like this to kind of help jazz it up. So there you go. That is a full look at my outfit today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow for the weekend. Hey guys, it is Saturday today. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I spent the morning out at a masterclass with Reese's Bathrooms. It was really cool because they had the girls from Three Birds Renovations there and they were on the panel. So really interesting to kind of hear their thoughts on renovating. If you actually haven't seen their YouTube channel, I'm gonna link it down below because Bonnie's dream home renovation is just beautiful. Uh, this afternoon, I'm gonna be heading with Nikita to go uh, to Broadway because she needs to pick up a few things. Um, and I actually think I'm probably gonna get changed just as it has fined up. It was really cool this morning, but right now it's actually quite warm. Uh, for my outfit, I am wearing my Reliquia little spiral earrings and I do have those same necklaces on. I'm just gonna have these linked down in the description box. I'm also wearing my linear watch. And then the top that I'm wearing is an old one. This is from J. Crew, and you guys have seen me wear this heaps of times. I really like this. It's just a nice kind of a wrap style, and then it has a singlet at the back. The jeans are from Mother Denim, and I actually bought these before we went to New Zealand because I've been wanting to try Mother Denim out. I'd seen these on someone else, and I really like the style. They have this asymmetrical kind of stepped hem detail, which I thought was really unusual and a bit different. I'm going to say I don't think you need to spend this much money on a pair of jeans. I got them on sale, but even then I still think they were quite expensive. Um, Mott and Bow do a very similar jean to this, which I'm going to link down in the description box. These basically feel like leggings. They are very, very stretchy, soft denim, so I kind of thought they'd be comfortable for the plane, which they were. But aside from that, uh, I really do think that you can get cheaper alternatives, so this is not one you need to invest in. Then uh, on my feet, I'm wearing my Evelyn Day heels, just as it was raining this morning 
And then the bag that I've been using today is just my Kuyana tote because I had to carry around my camera. So there you go. That is a look at the full outfit today. Hello and today is Sunday, final outfit of the week. Uh, today Nikita is actually moving into her flat so I'm going to drive her over there and help her get settled in and she's coming over later tonight so that we can have dinner. Luke is going to be making lasagna pinwheels which I'm very excited about. I always love when he makes fresh pasta. Uh, I've got a very very simple outfit on. Autumn has well and truly hit us here in Sydney. It's definitely starting to get a lot cooler and I'm starting to feel like I need to begin pulling out all of my sweaters. Uh, I'm not wearing any jewelry today aside from my little brand or a necklace which I have not taken off since I got basically. I love this thing. I like the fact I can wear it in the shower, sleep with it on. It's perfect. The shirt that I'm wearing is just a very plain white cotton shirt. This is from Uniqlo and I have to say if you are looking for a basic white shirt Uniqlo does a really good one. Uh, I love the little pocket detail too. I just think it makes it a little bit more special, uh, a little bit more updated than if it was just very plain. I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting than if it was just plain on both sides. And I love the kind of oversized fit. I went for a size small. Uh, I also think I tried on the size up as well, which is good if you want an even more relaxed kind of a boyfriend fit. Then my jeans are my Eveline Cheeky Straight. These are in the faded black wash and I really like these. These have a different fit in terms of how they wear to the bone ones, in case you were wondering. So the bone ones tend to stretch out a lot over the hips. When you wear them, they shrink back down as soon as you pop them in the wash. These ones don't stretch out at all. I feel like they fit the same now as they did when I first put them on out of the wash. So it's slightly different. I would say if you go down a size in the uh, bone, then you would want to stay true to size in the wash black. That's just my opinion. Uh, my shoes are my Charlotte Olympia black suede pumps. Love these and I think they make my outfit seem a little bit more elegant. Bag is again. My Charles and Keith bag, I cannot get enough of this. I love that wavy handle and I just think it adds a nice pop of color to my outfits. So yeah, that there you go. That is my last outfit of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching another week in outfits. I would love to know as always, what was your favorite one? Tell me in the comment section below if you've got a particular favorite piece. I think I'm gonna be putting this video up on a Sunday. So I hope that you all are having a wonderful weekend and that you have an amazing week ahead. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.